Yo, what is up everyone? Z Karma here and welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. Hope everyone is having an awesome day and staying safe in your home. But today I will bring you guys the best legendary farms for the new mini event called Loot Monster Mayhem. This event will last until April 16th and during this event special loot enemies will spawn more frequently and will also have a higher chance at dropping legendary gear. These enemies have a really high chance at dropping legendary gear, so this just makes it even better. So before I get into this video, if you guys find it helpful or informative in some way, shape, or form, a like rating is always appreciated, and if you guys want to subscribe for more Borderlands 3 content, that'll be awesome as well. So anyway, in this video, I will show you the two undisputed best location to farm during this event. But first, an honorable mention to a location where you will encounter a ton of chubby skags. <laughs> Get it? Because they're heavy? A ton? Uh, never mind. So this location is on the draughts on Pandora. Just drive around anywhere on the map and you will encounter a ton of them. If you want to take a trip down memory lane and have some nostalgia, then go ahead and go have some fun, find those chubby skags. But I wouldn't recommend you guys farm this for legendary gear because they really don't drop that much. So anyways, now let's move on to the real deal. The first location that I actually recommend is the Jacobs Estate. If you make your way to this part of the map, there will be a checkpoint. Head over this way and at the very back, there's a chance for a loot tank to spawn in. If not, you can head back where you came from, towards the gondola area, wherever you get that automatic escalator. And right before you actually get there, there will be four or five possible spawns for the loot tank. Multiple can spawn at once, so just be on the lookout for that. This is literally one of the best spots to farm during the event, simply because there are so many spawn possibilities. When you kill these enemies, they will drop a backpack, and you can open this backpack to get some legendary gear. So once you interact with the backpack, it will open up and spit out a bunch of legendary gear, including many of them anointed. There is a way that you can actually glitch these enemies by face grasping them with the Mara while they are digging a hole in the ground. And they will freeze and you can shoot their backpack forever with the level 1 pistol or an infinity pistol. And you can basically get infinite legendaries. But if you don't want to glitch or don't want to bother trying or don't want to bother getting a level 1 pistol or a level 1 shield. Then just quit out and farm all those tanks all over again. And now the second spot that I recommend and the last one that I recommend is another very good location to farm during this event. And this is at the Wayward Tether. This is where you do the Trial of Instinct and you only have to go into the first area. In there you will find a lot of animal enemies and they are really really easy to kill. But what you're looking for is the enemies that are carrying barrels of bunny. Normally, these barrels, all they do is drop money, but during this event, these barrels drop a crap ton of legendaries. In this area alone, there will be at least 4 loot jabbers that will spawn in every single time. Make sure you destroy all the barrels in the area, and as well as those loot jabbers, make sure to kill them because they do get away, and they also drop legendaries upon getting killed. Another thing that I want to say is that before you can actually have multiple of these barrels laying around, but for some reason, as I was playing recording this video, I could only have one barrel on the floor at a time. So you have to make sure that you destroy the barrel that the enemy is carrying before he drops it, because if he drops it and then another of the loot jabbers drops theirs, this one will disappear, or at least that's how it worked for me. All in all, this location is probably my favorite out of the three, and the only reason is because the enemies around this area are super easy to kill even on Mayhem 4. As where the Jacobs Estate with all the loot tanks, those COV enemies are a pain in the butt to deal with, so I'd rather come over here, chill a little bit more, relax, and farm for these legendary gear. So anyways guys, let me know what you guys think about these areas. What do you guys think about this event? What have you been farming? Or are you sticking to the 
rare chest mini event instead of the actual loot monster mayhem event. So just make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys found this video helpful or informative in some way, shape or form, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you want to subscribe for more Borderlands 3 content, that'll be awesome as well. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.